Hello and welcome to my final presentation. This is to show the animations in motion. Um, the reason why I wanted to do this video, particularly because it's very difficult to demonstrate um, using paper uh, the animation process. Before I've been using onion skin and techniques, um, which shows you the before and after um, motion tweens or sh you know animation movements, um, but. In this video, I'll be showing you the actual animations, how they work, and etc. So, to begin with, this is um, animation 9.4. Um, this has been opened up in Mozilla Firefox, and uh, what we have is we have the nerve ending, and then we have the in the middle we have a um, microtubule helix, and on this helix we have mitochondria. Um, I've used fill effects to give it a, a sort of 3D um, tone to it. As you can see, um, as the mitochondria comes in here, there's a bit of. It looks like the mitochondria is coming in behind. Well, it's coming in into the actual nerve, not on top or, or yeah, so or right below it. So it's just to get that nice 3D effect. This was done using layering uh, techniques. Um, so I'll just play the animation so you can see it in uh, Firefox. So what we're getting here is we're getting mitochondria coming along the microtubule helix. As it gets here, I want you to notice how it goes from the being in front of the the rail and then converting around the corner and then it, and then the rails being in front of the mitochondria. That was a quite a difficult technique to to pull off. That that's why we have uh, shape tweens on the corners. Of each helix, um, and that that that's at that stage we had to I had to use frame by frame uh, animating. Uh, if I just play that again, um, as you can see the as the mitochondria come round, synaptic vesicles um, excrete out of the mitochondria, and there what happens here is that they just fall down, and here we have a shape tween on on a synaptic vesicle. Um, if I play that again, um, you'll notice as it comes down, oh, so how some of them will come down and then they'll naturally, as they start coming down, they'll they'll expand like this one here, for instance. Um, that was what my client wanted as an effect. That I did quite a lot more work uh, to the previous release I did, where I just had the synaptic vesicles forming. This ha at the bottom here is the synaptic membrane. Okay, so that's the animation in Firefox. We have the same animation. Um, let me just get it for you. Working in a projector, Windows projector file format. Okay, so if I click play, you'll notice it looks identical to the previous um, animation. What we also have on this screen is we have a pause, play, stop, rewind fast forward and uh, a sound this is not actually enabled and we also have a slider bar here so you can point to the part of an animation um, say if you want to have a specific look this is the interactivity I've incorporated into this animation it's it's um, it, I mean this is where interactivity could improve in the next iterations uh, we could have um, possibly a legend and a storyboard where you can click and you know at a certain stage and and then you can have like some description saying well the uh, note is how the synaptic vesicles enlarge as as they drop to the bottom and some don't or etc um so this could be in possible future releases um as you can see all all buttons work if i press play uh, and then stop takes it back to the beginning play pause so yeah, that's the interactivity with the flash diagram. So that's 9.4, and this is using projector, Windows projector file format. The other one was using a browser to view the animation, and the final one is the QuickTime format. Okay, this is the illustration or animation 15.3.2b. Um, this is the end point. If I uh, take it back to the beginning. Okay, so. What you have here is you have uh, protein complexes, um, cytoplasm there. You also have 
uh, phospholipids. Um, there's 15 of these replicated along the, the uh, well, in the middle of the sheaf. Um, and you also have an alpha sheaf in front, as you can see here. Um, if, if you notice, with the protein complexes above and below, they're, they're a lot darker, but with the sheaf in the middle, the alpha sheaf, it sort of lines up a little bit. And then on the sides, we have um, cholesterol, which is entering the cell. And what happens here is it's pushing the protein complexes to the center and as they get pushed to the center this is when uh, a chemical reaction generates um, so if I just play the movie and you can see this in motion so what you can see here is protein complexes uh, just moving by themselves to start off with you know they just float and then as the cholesterol comes in it pushes them closer together so yeah that's pretty much the animation again with a quick time format we can scroll the bar um, we can also enlarge I forgot to show you that on the other ones as well you can do full screen with these um, but due to the uh, recording studio here, if I enlarge it, it will go off the screen, so I won't be able to show you that technique here. Um, again, we have sound, which is not really used. We have your play, rewind, and fast forward buttons. Um, the greatness of the formats I've used to publish these illustrations uh, or animations is that. Of, they can be used on a variety of computers. For instance, the Windows QuickTime can be used on any computer with a QuickTime plugin. Um, so, mainly QuickTime is used in Apple computers, but I mean, it can be used in Windows. You can you can play it in Linux. Again, um, with the other formats, Windows Projector format, that can be used in Windows. So you're covering the Windows uh, users, and then you also have the the Swift the Swift files which is the flash animations themselves and they uh, can be played on any computer with a Windows, uh, sorry not Windows, an Adobe Flash plugin uh, or if you have a Adobe Flash player you can just play them without being in a browser so that's the, the greatness there, we're, the whole point of the animations were to make them accessible as possible and I feel like this has been accomplished with these three formats um, so yeah, thanks for watching, I uh, hope you found that very informative. I'll just quickly take you back to the um, Win uh, Firefox browser um, Adobe plugin and I'll just play the animation and I'll also show you how you can zoom in. So what you can do here is you can zoom in, so although this uh, window's minimized again to um, record this in good detail. Um, I'm limited to showing you the full potential here of the zoom in tool, but if you was to have a full screen um, um, if you used to be viewing this animation in full screen you could literally zoom in and see still see the exterior of this, the nerve ending etc. Okay well thanks for your time, thanks for watching uh, I hope you enjoyed this present these presentations and uh, goodbye.